Hi everyone, it's me, Rosalyn, and my daughter, Daenerys. Hi! Okay, so on this video, we will talk about 221G request for additional documents in the Philippines. Okay, so you were done with your K-1 visa interview, but the consular officer cannot make a decision based on the information and or the documents you've submitted. This is where the 221G request for additional documents came in. So as explained by a consular officer, a 221G or request for additional documents is neither an approval or refusal of the visa case. Before consular officer decided on a case, they must thoroughly study the case, which means there are additional processing involved. Your case may be put in administrative review or administrative processing if they are doing additional background checks and waiting for your 221G submission compliance. That's why uh, when you have your interview, just make sure all the documents uh, that needed, you have to bring it all. Whether uh, it needed or not, you have to bring everything. So in case the consular will ask you for additional evidence or for documents, you can provide it to the consular. Even you already submit it and you include that documents to your pocket, you have to bring it you have to bring a copy for your interview so that in case the oh good job so in case the consular will ask you for a particular documents you can provide it to them so they will not uh, request for additional documents again and you will not have a 221G okay but if you have 221G or request for additional documents it may be quite a bit of delay on your visa on your visa issue once but you but if you comply to what they asked of you right away your case may be viewed in a timely manner and you will have news about your visa soon enough so uh when you have your 221g and you already receive your 221g just make sure you will provide everything they need and send it right away so they can process it right away okay um uh, what do you call this? You can follow up with the embassy through calls to the immigration visa unit or through email. Now, of course, when you have your 221G, you have to gather all the documents that are needed from you. You have given, I, they have given you a checklist and the consular officer has marked the documents you lack or need to submit. Nowadays, they email your 221G checklist. So make sure you check the email you use on your DS-160 form. Okay? Because um, before, during my time, the consular will give you a paper that has a list of the documents they needed. But now... Uh, as far as I know, they will mail it to you. So just make sure you already check your email address, okay? And also, they provide a cover letter explaining what is included in your 221G package. You have to fill out the 221G submission sheet, okay? Then bring your 221G documents with you at any to-go branch. They will pack them for you for easier handling. You may want to label your documents and put clips on it, okay? Yeah, yes. <laughs> so, no need to worry. You don't have to pay for anything. It will be paid for by the U.S. Embassy. You just have to hand everything over to a to-go career clerk and already know what to do.
They will prepare everything for you. You just have to sign the receipt they're going to give you. It also has a tracking number so you know when your 221G documents has been delivered. Okay, and then there are three things that can be done after submitting your 221G documents. Of course, you have to wait for your updates, for the updates from the U.S. Embassy. Then you can check the CEAC for your status. And then next, you, you can follow up with the immigration visa unit through mail, through email or phone. And then next... Just pray that everything will went well, that everything that they need, uh, they will see on your form. And let's just hope for the best, okay? So, that is for the 221G request for additional documents. So, just what I've said a while ago, just make sure during your interview, bring everything as in everything. <coughs> Thing. So that in case the consul will ask you for some documents, you can provide it to them because uh, having it to 21G is additional. It's an additional waiting period again. Okay. So if you have questions, clarifications, please feel free to comment on my video and please do subscribe on my YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. Say bye bye, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.